Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the 100% disk usage error that happens on Windows systems. Now, this is quite a common error message, and I'll show you some of the steps you can take to fix it. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification button to be notified when we upload new videos. So as you can see here, I'm just taking a look on this laptop and uh, the disk is running at 100%. Now you have to bear in mind that sometimes Windows is updating in the background and uh, you need to look at that uh, issue there because if people sometimes leave their laptops off and they suddenly turn them on and there'll be a lot of activity and that's because it wants to connect uh, to the internet and start to download those uh, updates. Now sometimes it's uh, rogue drivers, uh, software, could be uh, malware and stuff like that. So we're gonna go through some of the steps you can take. Now what you wanna do is open up Resource Monitor and that's built into Windows. And what that's gonna allow you to do is see what is hogging all of your resources. So basically you go through here and you click on the uh, disk tab here. You can see disk activity. And what you're looking for is something that's uh, using up a lot of read and writes and uh, using all your system resources and what you can do is either suspend this or remove it it's pretty straightforward now obviously if you've got malware on a system this is not going to work you need to remove the malware but we're going to go through some of the steps so the first thing I would try is go into MS config by typing MS config in a search box and this will open up the system configuration we want to go down to selective startup remove the tick from load startup items then we can go over to uh, the boot tab if you wanted to and boot into safe mode and try that first to see if that rectifies your problem but if not you can go into the services tab and click on the hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all then you want to shoot up to where it says startup and then up the top here click on the startup tab and open up task manager here now you can start to disable all of the startup items here. And what you want to do is reboot the system and enable these one at a time until you find out what is causing the problem. Because sometimes it could be uh, an antivirus program that's running that's causing an issue. It could be loads of different things, okay? So you're just trying to diagnose and find out what's causing the problem. Once you've got all this sorted out, what you can do here is uh, apply this so come out of here and close this off Hit apply and OK you see the services here are all disabled now so we're ready to go now that will start to ask us to restart I'm going to click on restart and restart the system so click on restart here and there we go and then what you can do is you can go back into MS config and you can then start to enable one at a time and see what happens now look at your hard drive in task manager and see if uh, the 100% disk usage has dropped so you want to come back in here and you can now enable these one at a time until you find out what's gone wrong here now normally uh, what will happen is sometimes when you're running in this mode it means there's a bad service running or something like that and you can diagnose that by using the resource monitor and you'll be able to find out which one is causing the problem. Now, a lot of the time, it is uh, Windows updates running in the background that's doing a massive update, and uh, sometimes people ignore that and they don't realize that that's what's causing the problem. So if that is the case, then you can deal with that problem. Once you finish, you can just enable uh, your normal startup here and restart the system. Okay, so moving on to checking the hard disk. Next thing you want to do is check your hard disk. And we're going to use in crystal disk info here. Now, if your disk is looking like this, where it shows red, then your disk is going bad. You can see here that it is in sector count is in the yellow, which means you could have uncorrectable sectors on there, which are bad sectors, and you would need to replace your hard drive. This can cause a bad hard drive and also can cause high hard drive usage you can see here this is what it wants to look like where it says health status is good and the temperature is good as well now once you find out your drive is bad you can run a test with uh, Seagate tools and find out whether the drive is actually failing because that's just reading the smart now next thing that you want to do is run a scan 
for malware and uh, viruses on your system and you can use the built-in uh, virus scanner if you want to or you can download and install uh, another one like Avast or something like that you want to run uh, different types of scans just to make sure that there is no malware that is causing high uh, hard drive usage next up we're going to go down to the search and type services and go into our services pane here and we're going to be disabling some services that are known to cause problems Windows search is one of these so what you want to do is stop that service from running and then go to startup type and then disable it apply an OK reboot your system and then see if the problem goes away if it does you know Windows search uh, was the issue so now we can move on to another service that causes problems which is the prefetch and uh, we will want to find this on the services list here and disable that and this is it here super fetch double click on it and what you want to do here is stop that service so we're going to come down to say stop service and then we're going to turn the service startup type to disabled and again restart your computer and see if the problem goes away and if it does then you know that was the culprit again if you want to look through here you can look through here for other services their background intelligent um, transfer service this is another problem the problem with this is is related to Windows update and other types of programs like uh, Windows Defender and programs like that that need automatic updates but if you disable this temporarily and stop the service and disable it just to see whether the problem goes away you know that this was the actual problem now you can take no action here in the recovery tab and put zero days in here apply an OK and see if that resolves your problem if it does then you know it was something to do with that uh, background intelligent transfer service which is bits for short and uh, you can then diagnose it a bit further but if you want to do manual uh, updates you can do you can just go into Windows updates manually and click on update and it will update still uh, this is just so it does it automatically okay so just read all the information there and uh, if it doesn't work then you can always enable these back afterwards and you can go through your services and find other ones uh, that you may want to disable just to see if that rectifies your problem so let's move on to the next one we're going to right click on the start button and go to device manager here and look for the IDE um, Atapi drivers or controllers and these are your SATA um, Atachi drivers click on device and uh, we can see it here store at attachy.sys this is the one we want to uh, take a look at here so what we're going to do here is a known bug inside Windows and uh, we can see that there so we're going to go into your details tab go to device instance path and I'm going to copy uh, that path there next I'm going to go to the search box and type in here reg edit open up the registry editor and we're going to navigate to local machine system current control set come down to enum open this up and what we're looking for here is PCI and we're looking for the VIN number what we're going to do here is you want to match this number up okay so just match that number up and find the number that uh, is the same as yours here and then we're going to go into uh, device parameters open this up and then interrupt management that's where we want to go next so find interrupt management click on this one then click on message signaled interrupt properties here and on the right hand pane you should see MSI support and it's uh, set to 1 open this value up and change this value to 0 and that sometimes resolves your issue now we can close off our registry editor we don't need to save this file so we can close that off and next up we're going to go to command prompt so type CMD in search and open up command prompt and run this as administrator inside here we're going to check the disk I'm going to go check disk space forward slash F space forward slash R and this will check the disk to make sure there's no issues just let that run that will take a bit of time now you can dismount the drive by using the X command but we're just going to leave that and just say yes and it will start to run this when you reboot your system the next time so just let that scan run and it will try and repair the drive okay now I can't stress enough if your drive is dying you want to make sure you back up all your data 
at any one time because otherwise if it fails you're going to lose all your data. Next up we're going to go to task manager here, go back into task manager, into performance and look at ethernet. It's another area you want to take a look at. Look at the send and receive. Now if you're seeing high send and receive volumes here that means or receiving volumes that could be an update issue that you're having windows update is pulling in large files so check here to see if you're getting any sort of data transfer uh, from servers to your computer which is uh, using the hard drive and you can go into here look inside your resource monitor and then try to troubleshoot and find the culprit that is causing that you can suspend these services but sometimes people are impatient and there's downloads coming down uh, the, hard, the hard drives being used by the antivirus program it's being used and scanned there could be updates going on could be a bad driver could be something that you've just installed onto the computer uh, and it's now conflicting you can see here by looking at the disk here and you can also check the CPU here to see whether the CPU is climbing uh, but in there you will see a path and you can see the amount of reads and writes that that file is causing on the drive so if it's very high you can then go into the disk tab here find the culprit and then root that uh, culprit out and then uh, sort it out and if it's a bad system file you can do sfc scan now to try and rectify the problem there's loads of things that you can uh, do now also browsers cause problems when you have a lot of tabs open you can check the task manager inside the browser also remove all the extensions to make sure there's no rogue extensions that are running uh, and causing a confliction which is making hard disk work super hard you know having loads of uh, resources running at one time can cause the hard drive to climb so just make sure and try and find out what is actually causing it and you're going to have to spend a bit of time and then you can go through here and reset your browser and there's also a couple of settings in here to turn off temporarily which is use a prediction service to load web pages faster go into content settings here and disable java and flash temporarily uh, just to see whether that is causing an issue as well sometimes flash does uh, but you can re-enable that if you're using youtube because you won't be able to watch youtube even uninstall the browser and install another browser to see if your problem goes away now the problem with high disk usage there could be 101 different things that are causing this problem and uh, it just means you're going to have to go through and try to weed out and find out what it is that's causing it and hopefully these tips will show you a way of trying to find in what is actually causing the problem because yours may be different to the ones that I'm talking about in this video but at least it will pinpoint you to the direction where uh, that file is causing the issue and you can then rectify it by either uh, running uh, checks on the drive checks on the file system or maybe uh, doing a repair install system restore there's loads of things that you can try before you actually wipe the system and reinstall windows anyway i think i'm going to wrap this one up i hope this video helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you're still having any issues you can always pop over to the forum and post up over there and i do my best to help you out as much as i can anyway thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.